Cut. Yeah, um, block ping. I don't know. Boy. Good evening, everyone. Okay, first and foremost, I didn't expect so many of you. Secondly, my name is Daniel Omara, not Odoch. No, the whole hostel thing is getting to me. I've been acting it for the past, what, five months? And the accent is beginning to stick. I have a normal human accent, this one. Odoch has the other accent, this one. It becomes depressing when the role of a character you're acting starts getting into your normal life. Like you're in a club talking to a chick and suddenly things begin to change from good to bad, yet you don't know what's going on. They are talking to her, you're like, and you know me, I like those stand-up pickup lines. Eh? Out of five star ratings, I give you the sky. She has fallen for that one, as in fallen, like flat, carpeted the floor. Then your accent kicks in. So I love your dress, and what are you doing later tonight? <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know how depressing that scenario is, let me tell you, it is uh, horrible. So has any of you guys heard of a music artist called Big Eye? Yeah. Seriously, there's a guy called Big Eye. Yeah. May I thought Katolo Bwama joined music. <laughs> <laughs> no, because... Seriously, no jokes. I was just wondering, why is he focusing on one eye? I mean, big eye. Are we going with one eye at a time or later on? So as I was watching the news this morning, you know, I rarely watch news. Ugandans don't watch news unless there's something exciting in it. Last time I watched news was Uganda riots. And I watched and I spotted, our new mayor is Elias Lukwago. Yay! Yay! <laughs> why, why, why? No, I'm not going to criticize El Elias Lukwago, by the way. I'm going to give him time to do what he does. Let, let him make mistakes, then I can start talking about him. Because for now, I have nothing on the guy. He's just a lawyer who likes petitioning things. <laughs> and I, 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 I can't do jokes about people petitioning things. It's, it, it's not killer and what. So I have to let the man be until he blunders. But what amused me is that his supporters gathered to support Elias Lukwago. And they were tear gassed. Now, sincerely, if we are being tear gassed for celebrating victory, what's next? Because, no, no, we got tear gassed for wanting Mavira back. It was a riot. We got tear gassed for the Uganda riots. It was a riot. We got tear gassed for every other thing. And then now we are being tear gassed for celebrating. Next thing you know, they are going to, police are going to be doing it for leisure. That's what I think nowadays. <laughs> I think they're just sitting there like, oh my. You know, we are bored today. What, what big event is going on today? You know, it's no longer about the event. It's about whether there's a crowd or not. Don't be surprised one day the tear gas canister drops in here. Like, what did we do? You were a crowd. <laughs> just that. They're going to tear gas you for being here. I think the police just sit and think, what's happening today? They're like, mm, Elias Lukwago won. I think there'll be a crowd in Uganda. How much tear gas do we have? Let's go get them. So there you are. Hey, yes, Lukwago, I saw it on the news. You should have seen the reaction. Hey, Lukwago, 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 tum. Hey. <laughs> Sudden decrease in human life. People just disappeared. I think if Olara Otunu was there, he would have fled at full speed. No, because after last week, seriously, Olara Otunu should realize if you don't vote, you have no right to petition the elections. I know he's Luo, and he's probably going to insult me naturally for this, but... Yeah, I'm going to receive a call at like 2 a.m. Jial. Ini wash your ningo, ki mic check. And I'm there like, Olara, please speak faster. I need to go back to sleep. No, that is one slow dude. Lule, man, one, we are representing Uganda as a country and soon to be achieving the needs in which we have to exist. A statement that makes no sense, but he shakes his head like he has made a point. Mm. <laughs> UPC. Yes, with the tie and die. No, I, I, I don't have anything. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I am Luo. I have nothing against Luos. We are, we are good people. We are a funny bunch of guys. 
We are weird. I mean, we still take pictures in the John Speak format. <laughs> yeah, John Speak, that was like 1870, what? But you'll find a Luo majestically standing there, you know, still grabbing his family and <laughs> posing for a picture. <laughs> Cameraman, you take. <laughs> Confidently, you know, just standing there, yes. Then the next one, he bends over and touches a nice looking flower, isn't it? The one that murdered me was this dude called Okero Polycap, my cousin. Polycap came with these brand new phones. Remember those huge phones? The Alcatels of 98. Big thing. I used to wonder whether it used battery power or fuel. <laughs> Guy got his Alcatel, put it on the floor and did this and posed for a picture. That was swag to him. I mean, he was feeling himself. He's like, I am the poo You know, he, he was enjoying himself. And I heard Bazungu were in the riots of last week. Bazungu, if you're here, please, let me give you one disadvantage you have as far as danger is concerned. The one problem a white person has that puts them at disadvantage in a situation of danger is the fact that they are not scared. That's the truth. Bazungu are not scared of anything. Us, this is the, okay. When it comes to assessing a situation, if one of you got up right now, here, and just ran out of that door, trust me, three quarters of you would follow. There would be a stampede at that door without even knowing why the other guy was running. <laughs> just one guy gets up, everyone is like, mm-hmm, mm, yeah. <laughs> and there's always that confused guy in the corridor who, can, who doesn't see an exit anyway, like. <laughs> and it's usually a musoga, ay, muna. <laughs> mm. No beef with the Basoga. I'm just saying, the only difference between the Musoga and the Bible is that the Bible is made of chapters, the Musoga makes chapats. It's, 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 it's nothing major. That confusion, you see how it works? There would be a distortion of peace without a reason because someone got up and ran out to poo-poo. Is that crazy? Bazungu, Bazungu, their idea, a white person's idea of assessing a situation is by walking into the danger. This is us Africans. Eh, but you, what is happening there? What, what's going on there? This is a Mzungu. What's happening over there? Are they okay? Is there any kind of danger? Then when things go wrong, pa, 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 pa. Why didn't anybody tell me? 